my friend Sean Vick, Sean Vick Fitness Duck, um, uh, filming in the woods today, evidently. Before we get to my wicked gym workout, I want to announce our number two winner of the autograph, who gets the autographed copy of my new book, Power Yoga for Athletes. It is Caroline Walters. I put it right up there uh, from Pennsylvania. So, Carol, line, sweet Caroline. I autographed the book, left a little note on it, it's en route through the mail right now to the Keystone State, right to your door. So, thank you very much. We're still giving away couple more books if you want to enter send me a video of yourself doing one of my videos or some photos of you doing my videos I've gotten a lot of photos so I kind of add that in the mix too. send them to seanvickfitness at gmail.com you can pick up your own copy of Power Yoga for Athletes wherever books are sold or ordered at seanvickfitness.com and get 25% off share it with all your friends this book has been tearing it up. It's really popular. I'm very, very pleased with how it's doing so far. Total on-the-go training manual, all fitness levels, all sports, all activities. And now, let's get to my gym workout. Once again, I smuggled I smuggled in a camera to my local gym. I won't say anything more about that. Um, I had to crop it just because I, I don't want to bring a tripod that gives too much away. So it's back a little ways. I cropped it. You'll be able to see everything, but it's not crystal clear, you know. Uh, Jurassic World quality. It's more Jurassic Park quality. Again, this is a workout. I just filmed a whole bunch of stuff I did the other day. Every time I go to work out, I change it up. I recommend you do that too. Cross training is where it's at. Always modify, use control, and enjoy. And I want you to comment below which uh, exercises you really liked or which ones you actually do yourself. Or if you have any suggestions how I can take these exercises and make them even better, I'd love to hear from you. So in the comment section, get the book, watch the video, subscribe, like, comment, share. Let's get to the gym. I highly recommend watching W.C. Fields movies. And this is my full workout at the gym last Friday. So beginning with some pull-ups with twists. So I like to pull up, bring the knees in, twist side to side about four times, exhaling to the side, inhaling to the center. And then slowly lowering down. I always focus on those negative parts. That's the lowering process. Uh, this workout is full of pull-ups and all sorts of other exercises, always changing it up. So make sure you're warmed up. These are options for you. Modify as needed. Then I come down. I like these. These are little rope pulls. Target the back muscles, lower the chest. I bend the knees so I stabilize the core. We're going to work every muscle in our bodies during this series. Now, lunge with lateral raises. Uh, I like to inhale up, exhale down. I always switch up the breath, stretch that back leg out. Lunges give us a chance to really work our legs and work our balance. Love working that balance as we work the shoulders. Lots of breath. Got some good music playing there. And then squats with military presses. Press down and up. My legs were a little sore here the day before. I'd done a lot of hiking and biking. So always be smart when working out that you don't overload those muscles and give them time to rest. Back to the pull-up bar. Y grip. These are called toe taps. These are pretty intense. Exhale, pull up, inhale down. Interesting note, the person who taught me these is a guy I used to get mistaken for a lot when I was in high school. Still do a little bit because of the Sharknado movies. Uh, Ian Ziering, or Ian Ziering, I did a boot camp with him last year in Florida. This is one of the ones he showed us. It's really powerful. I keep the knees slightly bent. Definitely a more advanced move. Exhale as you pull those toes up. All right, back to our lunge. We got some tricep kickbacks. Keep the elbows as frozen as you can. Inhale and exhale as you extend back. Get a nice extension in the spine. You got the lunge here. I'm going to throw those weights aside and then look at this. We go into a little warrior mudra three, working the balance, working the core. As I said, I cross train constantly. We got power yoga here. We have weightlifting. We have calisthenics. We have pull ups. We have body weight exercises, kettlebells, everything. Then we switch to the other side, elbows into the side. I always use weights that I can definitely control. Depending how I feel that day, I fluctuate, and we put the other foot forward and go into that mudra. So we also are stretching our shoulders and our chest. I love to do stretches right in the middle of these workouts. As you can see right here, here's a little triangle to reverse warrior, and now the wrap. Take the arms around the back, lace the fingers, huge chest stretch. Also like to you know move a little bit within that, and then step back and do a little hover, a little power yoga flow here into upward facing dog and then the scorpions this one always gets a beautiful stretch from my lower back and then press back to downward facing dog right foot forward and we do the sequence on the other side there's triangle reverse warrior and then warrior wrap 
So don't be afraid to do this. I always, you know, make sure I have space. I don't want to get in anyone's way. I go to the gym when it's not very crowded. We got some push-up handles here, and look at this: alternating leg raise push-ups. So just a non-stop onslaught. Who's that guy back there? Definitely revving up the metabolism all the time. And then I, ah, let's get back on that pull-up bar. I can't stop. These are little kicks side to side, working the core so you stabilize. Notice my arms are bent, my elbows are bent, really holding myself there, going back and forth. Ugh, full body workout, then slowly lowering down. Always hit that negative when you can. All right, push-up. We got one-legged push-ups again. I love the push-up handles. They protect my wrists more. My wrists always feel good, but I'm into longevity, my friend. I'm turned 41 in a couple weeks, and you bet your ass I want to keep doing this for another 40 or 50 years. So train smart. Listen to your body. And then we got some dumbbells. These are rear deltoid um, flies or raises. I'm in a squat position. I exhale back, inhale, bring those dumbbells together targeting the rear deltoids and the upper back while working the legs there's a pull-up bar there wide grip it's a wide grip day and this is a little side to side in that pull-up position so you know definitely a little more advanced work your way up to it i am obsessed with pull-ups of all kinds i'm doing wide grip here because this one the other one someone was using it and i slowly lower down the other one has close grip and a bunch of other stuff but wide grip today all right, tree pose with hammer curl. So again, stabilizing and balancing is working the arms and the shoulders here. Anytime you can balance like this, you are really working your core muscles. This one's a little more tricky. Military presses. Exhale up, inhale down. I tell you that balance will assist you in everything that you do. Oh, okay. Little hitch kicks. Little seven brides, seven brides. Okay, this one. I call this the zigzag pull-ups. And it is true, I was listening to Perfect Strangers by Deep Purple, so thumbs up for that. But I'm going side to side. I was on the beat for this one. It's during the really cool drum part in the song, if you know Deep Purple. Good stuff. But zigzags, oh, that just fries. And then we have our touchdown lunges, working the core and the balance. That's uh, spin it up right here. Okay, just <laughs> speeding up uh, so we don't take up too much time. But who's that over there? And uh, exhale down, inhale, lift. A little back bend in there. A lot of lunges today. Stretching those hip flexors back to the pull-up bar. And there's our zigzag once again. I won't bore you showing the whole thing. Let's cut to the next exercise now. Let's stretch. Here's the wide-legged yoga mudra. My knees are a little bit bent. I put the weight in my toes. Power yoga move featured in my book, Power Yoga for Athletes. Get it at Barnes & Noble, wherever books are sold. Huge chest and shoulder stretch. And then here is a mudra, or go into camel. Huge stretch for your back, your abdominals. We don't think about stretching our abs a lot, but you got to hit those abdominals and the chest. Love that camel. Love that joker. Full boat pose. Here we go with some yoga Pilates mix. Do a little arm swing here. Just wanted to show you guys. I'll do more of these videos. The last gym workout I did got a huge reaction. And I apologize, it's a, not the best picture because I had to set my camera kind of far back. I don't want to bring a tripod and I'm kind of secret when I do this. Back to the pull-up bar and just sway it side to side. I kind of play around sometimes. Nice big stretch. George of the Jungle, watch out for that tree. Bam! All right, push-ups. I love push-ups. Push-ups work your chest and shoulders. They also are great for your core. And with these push-up handles, you can do close grip, wide grip, staggered. You can alternate legs. You can do Spider-Man. There are so many different options here. Kid in a candy store. Charlie Bucket looking in the window at the candy shop. All right, we have a little mudra here. This is a deeper stretch. My heels are to the outside. Definitely stretching the knees. Now, don't try this at home unless you're really flexible. You can come all the way down. little Pat Benatar video thing there. little flash dance. How the hell do I get up? I just press right back up there. So big stretch, then back to the push-ups. Those stretches, you put those stretches in between the exercises, you will have huge gains. You'll have so much more energy and movement. Now, slow pull-ups. This is with a little push-off. So I'm focusing on the negative right here. So I'm switching legs each time. A little pop in the toes. Pull up as high as I can, then slowly lower down. Get the control. Get the precision. Get the focus. You want that focus in your, in your workouts. Total body control. So whichever sport or activity you do, you do it so much better. Let's just have a seat. Let's have a sit. 
Ah. All right, here we are again. Tree pose with regular curls. Elbows to the sides. Inhale down. Exhale up. Let me give you a little side view here. Good. I'm always working on my posture. Can always get better. Got my shoulders back. Got my chest open. My chin is always tucked just slightly. So the back of the neck can lengthen. Here's some little power yoga moves here. Love this move. We got the down dog walks. Really stretches the whole body. Come forward, plank, and then hover. Power yoga, vinyasa. Pull that stomach in, Sean. Then upward facing dog. And, oh, check that out. Get back on that pull-up bar. Okay. <laughs> when in doubt, let's pull up. We're almost there, my friends. I'll make more of these too. We got pull-ups again. I'm going to do pull-ups with mountain climbers and push-ups here. Mountain climbers is a great cardio move revving up your metabolism how many reps you do that's up to you i like to do it till i feel a really good burn i go for the burn feel the burn here's mountain climbers knees in i listen to music uh, sometimes i'll do it i'll count in my head how long i want to do something or i'll just go like till the end of a song or the middle of a song or a verse that i don't like okay then step right over there's your little push-up handles and we got push-ups again Good, my little uh, earbuds are flailing around like I got some necklace on there. Very nice. Pay the fool who wears earbuds. Who said that? Put that in the comment section below. It nice 80s reference. And there's the push-ups. Great way to work the entire chest and core. And then we repeat the series back to the pull-ups. People ask me, what do I do in the gym? It's hard to say because, as I said, I, you'll see in this video, I change it up. Let's speed this up here. Here's my nice cool-down section. There's a pyramid stretch, always the stretching. There's pigeon, nice proud pigeon. I sway it side to side, and then other side pyramid. I like to hold stretches for at least 10 breaths. A little quicker here for the video, but a uh, great way to transition from the workout to the outside world. You want to leave that gym tall and strong and moving well and with tons of energy and ready to do whatever you want to do because that's what it's all about you want to keep doing the things you love to do there's the mudra again we had some warrior wraps in there i hope you enjoyed this video please uh subscribe like comment give it a thumbs up share it with everybody let's keep rocking and rolling get my app at seanvfitness.com for free and hitch kick and here's a little American Ninja Warrior right at the end. Nice burnout working the whole body, mind-body control. I mean, how wonderful is it to have an empty gym like this? I wouldn't do this if it was full. Trust me on that. I don't want to be one of those people. But I want to be an American Ninja Warrior by myself. And make sure you pick up my book, Power Yoga for Athletes. Wherever books are sold, tag me on Facebook, social media, or get it at for 25% off. You ain't shot.